Hi everyone, in this video we'll be doing an unboxing and review of this Be Quiet Dark Rock Pro CPU cooler, which was generously provided by Be Quiet. Normally retails for about 55 to 60 pounds in the UK. It's a fairly hefty size cooler, so it's dual fan, suitable for cooling right up to 220 watts. I've put some timing in the description below, so I'll skip ahead to the review, but we'll start with a look at the box. You can see it's got two solid wing PWM fans, which the noise level is 12 to 25.9 dB. Double tower layout with dark nickel design, that Intel LGA1155 ready. So on the side here, so I've got, I chose a couple of fans on it, so 120mm fans, 14 steel heat pipe caps, yeah, 7 heat pipes, full aluminium top cover. Wave design cooling fans on the back here. So the information about it. So as I mentioned, it's fairly large. The weight of it, 1,550 1, grams. Yeah, it's quite a weight really. Uh, socket compatibility, basically an assortment of AMD and Intel sockets. Maximum power capacity, 220 watts. That's good for quite a lot of overclocking. Noise level of the fans, as I said, is up to between 12 and 25.9 dB. And there's the rest of the technical data on the fans. They've got a lifetime of 300,000 hours. That's pretty good. It's quite a long time, that. Huh? There's just a few other languages on that side. Right, let's open it up. Let's open it up. The box at the top there, and there is the instruction manual. Not too bad. Got the thermal grease, sort of the fittings, and there's the motherboard back plate. And here's the cooler. Let's have a look at the connectivity they've put on here. So it looks like it can be fed from one fan socket, really. Now you've got the option from feeding it from two fan sockets though. I suppose the advantage of feeding it from one is that both fans can be controlled with the same PWM controller and spin at the same speed. Yeah, looks very nice that. Nice black colour. Brushed finish on the top. Brushed aluminium look on the top. <coughs> yeah, does look very good. Got a protective label at the bottom to keep it nice and clean. Right, there's the CPU cooler secured on with all the four screws done up, reasonably tight. Right, let's fire it up and see how it is. So that's everything spinning up there. It's good to have this front back cooling option for AMD processors. Don't see many coolers like that that offer the front back option, it's mainly top down. Yeah, let's uh, get a bit closer and sort of see how noisy it is. So, yeah, now right up next to the cooler. And yeah, it really isn't that noisy. And to be honest, there's plenty of other fans in here that are making more noise. That's probably what you're hearing there. Well, let's try it out and see how it is on the computer. Right, so I've had the Dark Rock Pro CPU cooler in my case for about a week now. I'm absolutely chuffed with it. It's brilliant. It's nice and quiet. Keeps the CPU nice and cool. A uh, slight problem on fitting it. It is. A bit tricky because of the size of the cooler. I'm trying to line it up onto the motherboard. Yeah, difficult to see. Mind you, I did it all with the motherboard in situ in the case. So that's pretty part of the problem. I'm trying to hold the case in one hand and put the CPU cooler on. When this case is quite heavy. So yeah, probably not the best idea, but easier than taking the motherboard out. I would imagine installing it all from scratch with the motherboard out of the case is probably a whole lot easier. I'll take a look at what the fan speed is in Windows because uh, Ubuntu here is a bit limiting on what I can show you. Fan speed spinning up a bit but let me just go to 
the uh, the CPU usage is fairly high. While I'm doing the screencast. Yeah, let's say absolutely chuffed with it. And thanks to Be Quiet for providing it. Here we are in Windows with a bit of overclocking done on the CPU, which I found to be pretty tricky to do on this Asus M5A99X Evo Muff board. Looking at the CPU status here, so I have overclocked this 3.3 GHz CPU up to 3.8 GHz. It's not much, but yeah, it's a little bit. So fan control. It's about 200 RPM higher than it would be at stock speed, but I can't really hear any difference on the noise. It's still pretty damn quiet. I'm just going to run a benchmark here, and we'll see what happens to the CPU temperature, or the core temperatures. They're being kept in check. We'll go back to the fan control. Uh, the fan speed has increased a bit. But again, not much. It's still running very quietly. I think the benchmark is just about complete now, isn't it? Yeah, it is. You know, I'm quite chuffed with this CPU cooler. I think it is an absolute excellent cooler. It is quite large, but the payoff is that it's very quiet. It only needs one fan mounting point, so as long as your case can physically take the cooler, there's no reason why you can't use it. Thanks for watching. See you later.